Zollywood presents The Lawbreaker, co-produced by Gavin and Jesse, directed by Dollar Bill. Episode, Episode one. one. Debra, Debra, baby, come over. All right, now listen and listen good. I am sending you over to California. There is a lady, she is blind. I want you and her to bring me my goods, my cocaine. She is the one who's going to carry because she is not going to be suspected to be with the drugs. So kindly, I have paid the airport. The ticket is already paid for and I need you to go over in the next 10 minutes. When you reach over to USA, California, call me, all right? Call me. I will go on, but let me ask you, are you crazy to give a blind woman your goods, your prized possession to carry? What were you even thinking? Oh my God. Anyway, I will go. Don't question me again. You hear me? Don't question me again do as i say okay i'm leaving out hey ruby how are you my husband told me everything about you so let me introduce myself i am deborah miller so you supposed to know who i am why are you looking so frightened? I don't like your facial expression, girl. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Miller. But I have that look on my face because I've never met you before and I'm blind. How am I supposed to know that you are who you say you are? Please explain that. Well, Ruby, don't worry about it, darling. Let me take you to the car and then I'll make a call and let you know who I am exactly. So, take my arm and let me lead you to the car. Okay, Mrs. Miller, let's go. Thank you. All right, you can sit in the passenger seat and I will call my husband and let you hear his voice. Just give me a minute. Okay. His phone is ringing. Just wait for an answer. Hello. I have got Ruby with me, hon, but she do not believe who I am. So just talk and let her hear your voice. All right. Thank you, darling. Hi, Ruby. This is Wiz Miller. I sent my wife to come and pick you so that she can take you to the airport. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Miller, no problem. I just got to make sure that I'm in good hands. Just can't trust anybody that comes by and tells you a story. Have a great day, Mr. Miller. Talk to you later. All right, you guys should be careful of the cops. The cops may be on the outlook. Now we have things all settled and ready. Let's get rolling, baby. Cops should be scared of us. Let's go, girl. Let's go. Have fun. <laughs> Got to speed up, okay? I'm tight, girl. 
Girl, let's go. We gotta get out of here. Girl, why are the cops stopping us? What's going on? Did you hear me, Ruby? Hang tight. We are being followed by the cops. Okay, ladies, or whoever is in this car, please roll your windows down. Thank you very much, please. Good afternoon, sir. Why are you stopping me? Don't you see it's two ladies in here? Listen, I'm actually pulling you over for a couple of things, yes? <clears throat> Please turn off the car and take a listen. The thing is, I pulled you over because, one, you were going 60 in a 40 mile zone, that's one. Two, your car is tinted. May I see your license and registration, please? Sir, do you have a search warrant? Let me ask you that. Why do you want to see my papers? Do you even know if I have any? Can you please excuse me out of my way? Let me get on my way. Thank you, officer. Because let me tell you this. I am a first lady and I don't care who you are, where you're from. I just want to get where I'm going. So I don't give the hell who you say you are. Just give me way and let me get on my way. <clears throat> Could you step out of the car, please? Both ladies, thank you very much. And you, Miss, whatever your name is, I still need to see your license and registration. I don't care who you are. I don't care exactly who you are. I told you, I am officer boy who don't take any talk from no one. Do you understand? That's not my actual name, but that's how I roll in the streets. So are you gonna do exactly what I asked, or what? I need both ladies to step out of the car, please. Officer, are you an idiot? Can't you see my passenger is blind? And a matter of fact, if you're standing in front of my door, how am I gonna step out of the car? You ain't got no sense. I don't know how you even reach in the police force. Excuse me? Well, you know what? Kindly step out of the car, please, for the third time. And let me help this young lady over here. So, could you kindly step out of the car, young lady? I take it you're blind. Could you uh, step out of the car, please? Yes, I'm blind. Thank you, officer, for helping me out the car. Just let me get my cane. Okay, just be careful, because as much as you're blind, you can do damage. So, slowly, come on. <clears throat> Put your left foot out first. Use your cane to balance. And stand up. Thank you. What's your head? Thank you, officer. You're so kind. No problem. I guess he's looking at promotion, so he's trying to be kind. Now to miss whatever your name is over here. I still need to see your license and registration, girl. Are you gonna show it to me or what? Because I have no time to waste. You need to address me properly. My name is Deborah Miller. I am not what you think. And I'm not wasting your time, you're wasting mine's. I'm wasting none of y'all time, you're wasting my time. By the way, <clears throat> oh, did you say your name is Deborah Miller? Is that what you said? I was not born two time out of my mother's womb. I'm sure you heard me. How did you even get in the force? Don't worry about that, Deborah Miller. Let's see. Ah, Deborah Miller, married to a Wiz Miller, a drugs lord, huh? <laughs> it means more charges. Because one, like I said to you before, you were traveling pretty speedily on 
a 40 mile zone you were going 60 miles with also a tinted car and what <clears throat> now you're married to a drugs lord hmm all right <clears throat> you're gonna have to come with me do you know how long i want someone like you because you've been on the wanted list for some time it also means that you are on a murder charge for the past what 10 years for mrs suzetta rutherford hmm nice to have you finally caught up on you hmm? i am not happy to be your guest because you know nothing about me you're only accusing me are you even sure i'm telling you the truth about my name oh wow you are so stupid <laughs> oh my god anyway anyway you're taking me and sure i am fed properly I am giving president treatment because I am a first lady. I am not a cheap girl on the roadside. I'm not a prostitute. Look at me. Come on, officer. You don't even know who I am. So you better take me now or you will lose me in a drifty. It'll be done in short order, girl. Um, well, let me talk to this young lady over here. Uh, let me see your ID, please, uh, young lady. Here you go, officer. Regards to you, miss. Mrs. Miller, you're gonna have to come with me. Let me get a cab for your friend. Where are you going, by the way? Officer, I'm going to the airport. No problem. Let me get a cab for you. No problem. Thank you, officer. You're so kind. So let me ask a question. Why do I have to sit in a damn police car and she is going to the airport? What have I done wrong? Are you aware that I'm very calm with you, girl? Don't. Let me start. Well, my dear, um, your drive is actually on its way. It's going to be here in another five minutes or so. So, uh, well, whoa. well, he said five minutes, but um, he's here. So let me guide you to the car. Let me take you to the car. Thank you, officer. Bye, Ruby. Safe journey, girl. Mrs. Miller. I love you. I'll see you soon. Take care of yourself. Yes, hello, Ruby. Hello, Mr. Miller. How are you? I'm very fine. Where am I going? Mr. Miller, I'm on my way to the airport. I can't talk right now. So I will talk to you when I see you. All right. I'm waiting. See you later. Yes, coming. Hi, Mr. Miller. How are you today? Oh, you're looking good. Where are my goods? And where is Deborah, my wife? Well, um, I got some good news and some bad news. I got your goods. They're right here, right now. They're safe, and you're able to get them right now. Uh. Uh, the bad news is that uh, um, uh, um, uh, Deborah got arrested. What? On the way here. What? Before we got to the airport. You guys are not serious. What do you mean arrested? How and why? I thought I told her to be careful. This is crazy. This is not happening. Now I want you dress up and we go and look for her. Show me where she um, is. Um, she was driving to the airport and um, the cop just pulled her over, you know. All right, all right. She, she gave her her ID, her driver's license, you know. Calm down. Um, the, the cop. 
called her name on and she had a warrant. So, okay. so they just took her and um, we have to find out where she's at because I don't even know. It's okay. I'm so sorry. Oh no. I'm just sitting there and all this happened. Can you stop crying? I want you to do this. Go change those clothes and make yourself clean. We are heading there in the next five minutes back to the US. You show me where you are caught and I will do my investigation. Uh, oh, okay, okay, I'll calm down. I'm leaving right now to get ready. Thank you. I'll be waiting for you out in the lobby.